Hello, welcome to our uh, celebration of Church at Home. This is our fourth week of our summer program, uh, and it's our last week of this summer session. So uh, thank you so much for joining us all along this little journey. Uh, my name is Father Joshua Trefney. And I'm Father Ed Estock. And again, we are uh, meeting you uh, around uh, the dinner table here at the priest house. Uh, because, of course, uh, the topic of these uh, discussions has been uh, the proper hunger for uh, receiving uh, God's bread of life. And uh, so here we come to the uh, culmination of these uh, four sessions. This is not the end of the uh, bread of life discourse in the Sunday reading. So uh, for two more weeks, uh, you will be uh, hearing with us, or we will be hearing, uh, the Bread of Life discourse continuing. Uh, however, there is a bit of a um, peak moment here, inasmuch as uh, Jesus and his interlocutors, uh, among those who have had their bellies filled with bread, and, uh, and now Jesus has accused them of not having received the true bread, mm -hmm. uh, who is himself in his love of the Father. And so And uh, last week we kind of challenged ourselves and maybe challenged you a little bit to see has Jesus really affected us, changed us, um, gotten us uh, from our former way of life to a new way of life. And so here we see what is the how do we tell? Right, what's the manifestation? What is the manifestation that yeah. we have had our hearts and minds changed mm -hmm. or conformed uh, to Christ. And uh, for that, we are turning to uh, the second reading from uh, this Sunday's readings, uh, to the book of the Ephesians, letter to the Ephesians. And uh, actually, Father Joshua has uh, picked it out, is that the manifestation of a changed heart uh, is the imitation of Christ yeah. in the world. Yeah. And, and so we, you know, uh, there's so many ways, of course, that we can be imitators of Christ. Uh, you know, from everything from feeding the hungry to, um, you know, uh, being kind to our families to being forgiving, forgiving and loving, laying down our lives literally for someone as Jesus himself did. But this imitation, this, uh, this, manifestation of our love is imitation of Christ. And that's uh, right. It goes back to that, you know, uh, imitation is the highest form of flattery, right? Really, like mm -hmm. that's a phrase that we have in our culture because right. it's true. Right. When you, have you, if you've ever like um, been in a conversation with someone and you really like them, uh, you start kind of like doing what they're doing, right. you know, uh, it's that same thing because we have been in a conversation with Jesus. We've been talking with him and we've been spending time with him in prayer and we've been uh, following him around with his disciples and we've been doing the things that Jesus does. And so then we start actually doing the things that Jesus right. does. We start imitating him because we've been uh, we're attracted to him in, in a spiritual way. And there, and you know, there is a, and so that manifests in our own, uh, right. imitation of who he is. Uh, back in the, uh, uh, late 18, 1980s, I got onto a fit for life diet. Anybody remember the fit for life diet? And it was a, uh, food ordering, um, diet. So you, had to eat this kind of food before you would eat this kind of food and then this kind of food. And so, um, I don't know, maybe I didn't understand it well, but... <laughs> I don't know what it is. I, um, I fixed on carrots. The carrots were something that I could eat as much of them as I wanted and I could eat them any time of day or, or night and in any order. And I also found out that I could put peanut butter on them and they were uh, really delicious <laughs> to me. So I started eating carrots, you know, three times a day. And uh, lo and behold, uh, the palms of my hands turned orange. So what I would like to suggest 
to you is that the manifestation that we have in fact authentically received the bread of life that God is giving us every day and we are receiving it according to the mind of Christ and God's will mm -hmm. will be the natural manifestation of the the love of Christ in our uh, our bodies yeah. uh, so that uh, we can become, as uh, St. Uh, uh, Augustine has encouraged us, that we become what we receive. Mm -hmm. Notice, though, that it doesn't say you become what you get satisfied on. Mm -hmm. Because that's back to the old ways. What we're talking about is that we become what we receive. And so receiving Holy Communion, I don't know if you know this, but you, uh, ministers of the Eucharist, except for the ordained minister, are forbidden to feed themselves Holy Communion. Mm -hmm. They must receive Holy Communion. Yeah. And uh, this, is this, this is this principle. We do not take the bread of life for our own satisfaction. Mm -hmm. We receive the bread of life yeah. from the hand of God. So um, this uh, uh, gratitude in daily life manifested by the imitation of the generosity of Christ, yeah. that's, that's the sign that we have in fact met, been changed by, and been filled up with the bread come down from heaven. Yeah. So in all of this, we have been formed and we have been... Uh, we have been accompanied and walked with by the Lord, and then we have been allowed him to affect us and change us, all so that we can be imitators of who he is. And, you know, well, that, that line from St. Paul's reading this week is just so perfect, right? He says, all bitterness, fury, angry, shouting, and uh, rivaling must be removed from who you are and set aside along with all malice. And instead we're called to be kind to one another compassionate forgiving loving laying down our lives like christ did for his church so that we can give off the fragrant aroma of christ right and so like my orange palms <laughs> uh, our uh, grateful uh, and generous uh, imitation of christ is kind of like the well, the aroma of baking bread. Yeah, and right, like oh. there's nothing better than no. a bakery in the, at five o'clock in the morning when it smells like uh, right. butter it's and heavenly, you know, it's wheat. Really yeah, heavenly. Uh, um. And so we we are called to to do that to allow that the to allow the bread of life to be baked inside of us to you know, allow the wheat of all of our lives to be kind of crushed up and ground until the Lord can form it into an image of himself and, and bake it within us. Mm -hmm. and, and that looks mm -hmm. like uh, mm -hmm. sometimes painful, but, uh, you know, it's not easy being crushed sometimes, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it ends up being so much better than uh, the wheat was on its own. Mm -hmm. right. Now, Father's referring to uh, the great image of uh, St. Augustine in which uh, the grains, of, he says the church is the grains of wheat uh, harvested and then crushed and ground into the fine powder and then mixed with the water of baptism mm -hmm. and formed into the one loaf and then uh, baked in the fire of the Holy Spirit to its golden brown mm -hmm. and uh, emitting this great uh, aroma and then it can be um, broken again and given uh, as bread and life for the world. Yeah. And who doesn't love ripping open a crusty roll, you know, right. and slathering it in butter, right? So, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we, um, we have enjoyed and are grateful to God for this opportunity to uh, visit uh, with you in your church and home groups. I'm very grateful, obviously, and I know Father is. Uh, that you have been willing to participate in these uh, faith-building uh, discussion groups we call Church at Home. And uh, so we are, um, in a sense, 
want to wrap this up maybe in a little bit of a, um, I don't know, I say a bow. A capstone. Yeah, you know. something. <laughs> uh, maybe like a, uh, yeah, a little uh, a pocket, a cross in your pocket. Maybe you've uh, had that or maybe some have put a stone in their shoe to remember something. Um, and uh, what we've come upon is uh, the act of spiritual communion that, um, well, in all transparency, Father uh, Joshua and I wrote this, mm -hmm. uh, this new act of spiritual communion for our parish community. And uh, we did that long before we participated in these um, conversations uh, for Church at Home and on the Bread of Life Discourse. However, what we are seeing in the prayer, and we'd like to just go through it briefly with you, is maybe a summary of this journey that we have walked with you um, in these uh, four sessions of In the uh, formation of our hearts during this time. So right. let's maybe read it together. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, Son of God, God you, you are, are the, the bread come down from heaven, from heaven who feeds and heals your pilgrim people. I love you with all my heart. Turning to you in the Eucharist today, I pray that you refresh me with your grace and presence, renew me as a temple of your Holy Spirit, reconcile me within the communion of your church, that we as one family might radiate your light to the world. Amen. And so in the beginning of this, we're truly recognizing Jesus for who he is. And literally the line, you are the bread come down from heaven, is from this week's gospel. And so we, we're recognizing Jesus as who he proclaims himself to be. Not who we assume, not who we, uh, not the images or ideas or wants that we placed on the him demands or him. the demands, but we let Jesus tell us who he is. You are the son of God and you are the bread come down from heaven and you have fed us and you heal us and we are your pilgrim people and so this this kind of encapsulates encapsulates that idea that uh, of, that we've been talking about of seeing jesus for who he is and not uh, and then allowing him to affect us to feed us as father said to to take not or not to take but to receive <clears throat> what what is offered he feeds us and he heals us and then this expression on our part, I love you with all my heart. Mm -hmm. And and so that is this, we have recognized that he has affected us. And then the imitation of Christ is this whole last section. Right. So that turning to the Eucharist today, in other words, receiving you as you are, who you are, and as you want to be in us, mm -hmm. uh, turning to you in the Eucharist today, uh, I pray that you refresh me with your grace and presence. You know, so uh, really satisfy what I need rather than what I want. Mm -hmm. um, that you uh, renew me as a temple of your Holy Spirit uh, so that uh, my life is not my own, but manner, uh, is a manifestation of the life of Christ in the world. Uh, that you would reconcile me within the communion of the church. We, uh, uh, Jesus did not come to form individual disciples <coughs> like uh, right. franchises <laughs> or like sales managers that he's going to send out to all the world. He came to form a people like the people of old, uh, the Hebrew nation, the uh, Jews. He came to form a people peculiarly his own, as the scriptures say. I can't say that word very well. And um, so we are formed as a part of the communion of your church. So, and we need to be reformed. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. that's part of the healing uh, that the bread uh, from heaven can effect in us because it heals us. Yeah, and that's, yeah. The Eucharist both gives us the strength to uh, be part of the communion of the church and also uh, is an affirmation of that communion which already exists. That's right. And so there right. is a twofold That's manifestation. Right. We are not creating anything new at the Eucharist. We are simply revealing what, what is, is always, always there. there. Right. And, that, and then as one family, so uh, this is the ecclesial or the communal nature of our lives uh, in the church and in the world 
so that we might uh, go forth from this place uh, as the bread of life ourselves, so that mm -hmm. we become what we receive, and and then we can go and feed the world. Mm -hmm. And so that doesn't mean that we give everybody what they are demanding out there. It means that we reveal to them who Jesus Christ is in us and through us and for us and now uh, for them. For them, yeah. So, so as imitators of Christ, uh, as his beloved brothers and sisters, let's walk out into the world ready to feed everyone that right. we come in contact right. with. God bless you. Peace. <laughs>